Perfect. 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 Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Tay, and today we're taking a look at minimalism. Finally making a video on minimalism. A lot of people who know me know that's how I like to keep things pretty simple, pretty clean, basic. It makes things easier. So today I wanted to talk about five reasons um, minimalism is something you should think about incorporating into your life and adapting and exactly what minimalism is so before we hop into it i just say if you're on my youtube channel go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come on design tech finance minimalism since that's out the way let's actually hop into it minimalism is it's a mindset, it's a concept, it's a way of living, it's a lifestyle, right? And it's pretty much the opposite of what mainstream media or like society pushes on to you. You know, we were taught to like get a nice job, get your bread, get your money, and flaunt it, you know? Nice big house, nice whip, and you know, nice clothes, gotta have the latest and greatest, phone, whatever it may be. Minimalism, kind of does the opposite of that. It reduces everything to the bare minimum, like what's necessary, what you actually need, the essentials. So the reason why I like minimalism is because, I guess reason number one, I would say, or well, benefit number one is it allows for you to be more productive. It allows for you to focus on the topic at hand, whatever you need to do, because it's the whole mantra of Less is more, you know, so I know exactly what I need to be doing, what I need to be focusing on, and it cuts down distractions. So reason number one, or benefit number one for minimalism is cutting down distractions and increasing your focus. Number two, I would say it saves you a lot of money. Instead of like working your ass off, making all this bread and then spending it and being broke, minimalism, you actually just buy what you need. So when you only buy what you need, you're not gonna spend a lot of money. Now you still can, you know, buy things that excite you or things that you want, but I just suggest keeping it at a very bare minimum so that you don't have too many items, too many things in the way. I try to have things around me that are valuable and that I use on a day-to-day -day basis so everything else can just go away. Benefit number three for minimalism, I would say, is mental clarity. You know, as you get older and no matter where you are in life, you feel like you always like searching for your purpose and what you, you know, want, what's going to make you happy, what's not going to make you happy. And when you like strip everything around you that was a distraction like it really forces you to like step back and to think about who you are who you want to be and like if you're on the right track and everything so like that mental clarity is like beautiful and like i'm like a, i'm a designer so like i'm a you know big visual person and like when like my space is cluttered like my mind is cluttered but when my space is nice and clean, like I really can like think. So this is kind of like picking in on like uh, benefit number one, but like that distraction being reduced, like you really can just like, you know, think about, okay, I got this free time. What am I gonna do with my time instead of, you know, doing X, Y, and Z with these materials or goods or products that I would normally do. And it really just forces you to think outside of the box. So. I would even say it increases your creativity because now you have to focus on how to utilize what you have to do more instead of getting more to do more. So it makes you more of a like strategist, I would say. Benefit number four for minimalism, I would say is time, like saving time. Literally by decluttering and you know getting rid of a lot of things, you have less that you need to do. So like, for example, um, if you get rid of all of your like clothes or like a lot of furniture and things like that, that's just extra, right? 
by getting rid of rid of those things, like it's gonna be a lot easier to, for example, clean your space, like and keep it clean, right? And then like if you have to get dressed in the morning, you know, go to work or whatever, like having less clothes reduces the amount of options that you have. So it's gonna make it easier. You're gonna be able to come up with like, you know, outfits or whatever that you can regularly wear, that you can even switch up, but like your options are gonna be limited. When you have too many options, it can create, you know, a very busy mind and then you might not, you know, decide on something or it's just gonna take a long time. So fourth reason or fourth benefit I would say is it's gonna save you a lot of time. All right, so we didn't made it through the first four reasons. And just to give a quick little recap, reason number one, you're gonna be a lot more productive. Reason number two, you're gonna save a lot more money. Reason number three, it's gonna be easier to find yourself, get that mental clarity. And reason number four, you'll have a lot more time. The fifth and final reason um, I'm gonna give you in this video for minimalism is the freedom. Freedom ain't free, as we all know. So you got sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. So with minimalism, you sacrificing all of the you know tangible objects and things in your life. But one of the greatest things I can say being a minimalist is at a drop of a dime. I can make moves, I can move to another state, I can move to another country if I wanted to, because I really don't have many things holding me back, right? And that can go to, that can come from like actual physical objects to even like a whole bunch of relationships, you know, the people in your life, you know, holding you back. So being minimal just allows you to get up and go. And I like to, you know, think that our purpose is to like experience new things, new people, and you know, more life for real. So what's the point of being tied and anchored in one spot? And minimalism just allows you to just make moves out here, which is the most important thing, at least right now at 28. So those are my top five reasons for minimalism. There's a whole lot more reasons for real that I can get into and you can just subscribe to the channel because I'll probably dive a little bit more deeper in some of like my minimalist routines and some of the things that I do and don't do, buy, don't buy as a minimalist. You know, all the stereotypical things you see on YouTube. So I'll be back with more, man. It's your boy Tay. I hope y'all enjoyed this content. Please give it a thumbs up. You know, go ahead and like and think about subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell. I would really appreciate it so y'all can see when I drop my next videos. And it's your boy Tay signing out. Peace.